little bit out here with the sunshine and um and i too need to i've already grounded centered and aligned this morning and i've done my netty and i've done my oil pulling and um i had a beautiful shower and just was uh, did three ohms in the shower after my grounding centering and aligning process i come in and then i do three ohms uh, one for healing heightening and harmony for our world and our globe and i come here and i do for the past and the uh, present and future lineage and healing me now and then i come up here in deepest deepest gratitude for this divine living that i've been gifted and I always ask for guidance and support in the work that I do for the highest and greatest good of all, all my relations. So that's kind of what went through the part of my process in the morning. Um, I was thinking that it would be fun to do um, my morning routine and, and show you snippets of, of what that looks like in, uh, um, and how quick and easy it is to fit that in, that self-care, that well-being time, how important that is. and. Uh, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's for you, on you, by you. You're the boss of your life and make sure you fit yourself in there. Make sure you fit yourself in there. It took me a long time to know that my fitting myself in my life was more important than fitting everybody else in my life. Or it made it a lot more pleasurable. It allowed me to re reach that bliss factor, that, that bliss in that moment in time, in that bliss place, that bliss point. I had so many different names for it. Bliss this, bliss that. I almost thought changing my name to Bliss for heaven's sakes, but I have a dear friend and her name is Bliss, so I don't want to work work with that one. So um, I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to take her, her name of Bliss. <laughs> Anyways, to our feet, imagination turned on, all your sensory organs turned on. I hope it's sunshiny where you are. I hope that you have an opportunity to go stand barefoot in the ground as I'm going to do. I am actually gonna lay on the ground today and fully nourish and fortify my body with Mother Earth's hurts. It's like a, it's like my own personal um, PEMF EM, P -E mat, you know, pulsed electromagnetic therapy mat, just laying on the earth and, and tuning into her heartbeat and bringing those roots out. Think of a tree or your etheric feet, take them right down to the central core of the earth as we ground, center, and align. I've put a lot in here this morning, so uh, I'd love to know what, what works for you. I love the idea of Monday mornings, turn that frown upside down, 6 a.m. Let me know if the 6 a.m. works for you. Nice time to reset. And Sundays, I thought about Sundays, and I've always had Sundays as sort of sacred Sundays or super Sundays or super mum Sundays. So I don't want it to interfere with um, any other uh, possibilities that could be open that you'd have to take a half an hour away from your beautiful family. And mm. Ah, oh, take it right down to that central core of the earth. Do you feel it? Do you feel the draw? Is it, I just hope that it's, my wish for you is that it just now becomes, it's more of a cellular draw where the cells want it more than, than your intention or your imagination. And feeling that energy rise up, up towards your feet, that mother earth energy into those four points of your foot. Make your yoga toes. Mm. And up into the hips and the lower abdomen, bringing that Mother Earth energy up, 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 and into the heart, and over the shoulders and the arms and down the hands. Mm. And up into the head. And open up the Sahasara, Chakra 7. And down, allow that beautiful Mother Earth energy to come down and feel that on the sensory, on the first level of your biofield and on your skin, clearing all of that. And if you have anything to let go during this day, today, the full moon, take it and 
allow that release out your fingertips and direct that into Mother Earth. Full intention to receive with grace and gratitude, Mother Earth. Take all that does not serve me. All that I choose to let go of now. And allow that to release. And when you're finished releasing, when you can stop, you actually stop the, the process of letting go into Mother Earth. That's an important part. And bring your hands up now into your neck and let's carry on. Oh, with we've already done that. Carry it on and, and just really complete and, and um, connect with Mother Earth as we come into our centering. And take a nice breath with noise, with sound. Inhale. Ah. And find that still point. I'm feeling like I need another one. I'm going to take another inhale if you'll join me. Inhale and with, with sound. Ah. Take that alignment straight up from the central core of the earth and through the spine, the shashumna. It's part of the nadi system. The nadi system is, is an energy system within our body. The 72,000 nadis that transfer, it's like the fascia, it's in the connective tissues, it's everywhere. And it comes and it's all connected to like the spine, the shashumna, up through the top of the head. And fine line to divine creator source energy. <sighs> that connection through our solar system, our galaxies into the cosmos, God, creator source energy, higher self, super consciousness, ascended masters, spirits, guides, seers, all those, the place of many names, all those that love me unconditionally. Invite that white golden light into the top of Sahasra and into your head. To love, to invite with love, unconditional love is a great boundary when working with the astral area, working with the unseen area. To have that boundary of those and that that loves me unconditionally or better. I always love to add that or better. And into, bring this golden white light into the throat and the shoulders. And down the arms to the hands. Now bring the hands into the chest. Now bathe the chest area with expansion of this golden white light area. Breathe into that heart area. The largest energy center within these seven primary centers that we've been working with. There's many energy centers in our bodies. Basically, wherever our nerves, nerves cross in our body, a little plexus, a little vortex, vortice of energy is created with those that 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 junction. Hmm. And breathe that gold and white light energy into the lower abdomen and bathe that first, second, and third chakra area, the foundation of our grounding areas, the first, second, and third area. And into the legs and physically manifest this grounding and this golden white light, this golden white light energy to be here now. It's always here. We've just put up the antenna and made it a little stronger. And let's go into our mantra meditation, our outro. If you find value in, in this morning's session, just a reminder to like and share. It allows for others to have an opportunity to see the videos. And that's why I had a curiosity with taking it to the YouTube platform to see the difference in the viewership based on a different platform because Facebook owns Facebook and Instagram, which is really great. It's, uh, it makes it easier to cross, cross 
promote, cross promote my, your work, my work. Um, so YouTube is a different platform. It's a Google platform. And um, so I think it's good to have a, a change of, of platforms to allow, um, to allow more freedom and more freedom of information, I guess, to see what is available to, to each person on a different platform. And the earlier mornings um, allow uh, our viewers from the Philippines and the UK and India um, to um, have it within a, more of their time zone um, so that they have an opportunity to watch live. So, um, so I really appreciate the viewers from all over the world. It's like so fun. Uh, I appreciate um, your, your tuning in. You're tuning in to yourself and tuning into this. Um, and our viewers in, in Eastern Canada, Central Canada and Eastern Canada. Thank you. And the U.S. all over. It's so, so fun to look to see where the viewers are. And thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart to the bottom of your heart. my devotion your devotion it does take a devotion to this work and the devotion is to you is to you your highest and greatest good the best you can be that in this lifetime this is no dress rehearsal we don't get to a redo of today so devote that to yourself but devote it to yourself devotion modest and fragrant it gives itself without seeking for anything in return to simply be, to simply be a devotion that keeps concentrated and silent in the depths of the heart, but manifests in acts of service and obedience is more powerful, more true, more divine than any shouting and weeping devotion. Devotion, modest and fragrant, it gives itself without seeking for anything in return. A devotion that keeps concentrated and silent in the depths of the heart, but manifests in acts of service and obedience, is more powerful, more true, more divine than any shouting and weeping devotion. O obedience, it's a curious word, isn't it? It's an obedience to myself. So my, it's, not, it's my, my marriage vow to myself, not that... It, and, and you know, obedience you know, to pull it up in the dictionary.com and and even to look in the thesaurus of how uh, the other words that would would match up with that these cards were produced a long time ago and i love the words of the mother because it allows me to take to go into you know the dictionary or look up a word and find that part of the word that really stands for me so that I can be in ownership of that word obedience to myself yeah I guess it's like a tra it is training and uh, training is obedience often so I'm training myself I invite you to train yourself too most of all I love you and make it a great day <laughs>